Hey Fit Mom, welcome back. This is your full body fierce pregnancy workout. Congrats again on your second trimester. I am so excited to be experiencing this with you. This workout, we are adding in some resistance to strengthen our arms as well as our legs while incorporating some active rest exercises that are gonna keep our endorphins pumping through our body, keeping our heart rate steady, and working our core and balance as well. So as you already know, in your second trimester, you probably have already been experiencing some more changes to your body, right? Your center of gravity may be changing, your balance, you have that wonderful relaxing hormone flowing through your body, so your joints may be a little bit more lax. So this workout is really focusing on strengthening the legs and the core because we wanna get baby ready to bear down when the time is, is right for you. And also we're gonna be strengthening our arms so that we're ready to hold the baby, nurture the baby, feed the baby, nurse the baby, and have the strength, endurance, as well as the posture. So yes, we're gonna be getting a full body workout, strengthening our arms, our legs, our core, and also our balance. So remember, please take your time, listen to your body, and take breaks as you need. We are gonna be adding some weight. Find the weight that is appropriate for you, Stay hydrated, have fun, take your time. Each time you do this workout, you're gonna get a little bit stronger. So give yourself some grace, allow yourself to learn and have fun. Now the workout involves two rounds. The moves are mama ready squats, sumo thrusters, lunge and flex in both directions, golden eagles, rising stars, goddess squats, and side lunges and flex. In between each exercise, we'll call out an active rest to keep your heart rate steady. Now, before we get started, make sure that you have checked in with your health care provider to make sure that these workouts are safe and appropriate for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with our warm up, and we're gonna march right here. Get those arms going, keep your chest up, and just be thankful and congratulate yourself that you are doing something for you as well as your little bundle of joy, because this is not only gonna help you in your body, but also the baby that's in your womb. So from right here, we're just gonna take a wider stance, reach the arms out to the side, and we're gonna push our palms out, and we're gonna small circle backwards. We're just gonna warm up the shoulder girdle here. We're gonna do some arm exercises, as well as legs, some core for sure. It's a total body fierce workout today. Now we're gonna go forward, pushing through your palms, keeping your arms straight. Again, just warming up the shoulder girdles, getting oxygen to our muscles, increasing our blood flow. From here, we're gonna take a wider stance. We're gonna reach that arm up, side bend gently to the side, open up the rib cage here, keeping your chest open, and then slowly lower down. We're gonna do a few more over here with the right side, nice and smooth and controlled, nice and fluid, and breathing in your nose, and exhaling. From here, we're gonna switch opposite arm, reach through the fingertips, open up that side, and push it away from you. And again, we're gonna do that a couple more times, just opening up the sides, the lat, the intercostals, one more time. Reach over and bring it down and away. From here, we're just gonna hinge at your waist. I'm just gonna turn so that you can see me a little bit more. You're just gonna flatten the back, get a good stretch behind the hamstring. Now you're gonna round the back, relax the head, relax the shoulders, and let your spine back on top of each other. Now all of us will have different girths here, right? So you move at the range that's appropriate and feels good for you. Get a good stretch here and roll it up. We're gonna do one more guys together. Hinge forward, get a good stretch behind the hamstrings and we're gonna roll it up nice and controlled. Okay, so for this workout we have 45 seconds of doing an exercise together and then we have a 45 second active rest. So the first exercise we're gonna do, you're gonna grab your weights 
and you're going to, in this position, your feet are parallel, your shoulders are down and back. I'm gonna show it to you first. You're gonna squat, know how my shoulders are back, front raise into side raise. All right, here we go. We're gonna squat down, front into side raise. So we're keeping that isometric hold as if we're doing a bicep, right? Keeping the shoulder blades down and back because we're preparing our bodies to be strong, to hold our babies, right? When we're nursing them, carrying them around our home, we wanna keep the stability and strength in our shoulder girdle as well as in the muscles of our arms. Making sure that when I'm squatting, my hips are going back. I should feel more of the weight on my heels, definitely not on my knees. I want my muscles to absorb the force not my joints. Okay, we're gonna set the weights down, and from here, we're just gonna take a light jog. Now, if that jogging is not working out for you, you can march, I'm sorry, march right here, or you can butt kick. We wanna just keep it moving. So we got 45 seconds. Let those endorphins kind of release throughout the body. Feel good here. Our next exercise, we're gonna go into a different position of the sumo squat with the shoulder press. So we're gonna use those same weights. Now, if at any time you feel like your heart rate's going too fast, you can definitely bring the heart rate down. Remember, this is your workout. You wanna be safe and challenge yourself. All right, from here, you're gonna grab your weights. Now I'm gonna stand in a wider stance. I'm gonna show it to you first. You're gonna hold the weights here. You're gonna sumo squat into a shoulder press. Here we go. So you're coming down pressing up, so you're working the outer thighs, inner thighs, getting your shoulder going, nice and controlled, squeezing the upper inner thigh, squeezing your glutes, pretending like you're sliding down a wall. If you pitch forward, that wall is gonna push you forward, right? So you don't wanna come here, straight down, straight up. Nice and smooth, inner thigh, outer thigh, full body workout, breathing, never holding your breath. We're gonna set those down. And from here we have jumping jacks. So we can do a normal jumping jack, or if you're like, hey, that's too much bouncing for this mama, no worries, we can step it out, keeping the shoulders down and back. Again, getting those endorphins, to pump out, giving some TLC to your heart, keeping the body moving. If at any time you feel like, okay, I can go right back to it, go for it. This is your workout, your time for you to take care of you, your body, and your baby. The next one we're gonna do, we're gonna be in a lunge position and we're gonna grab our weights again. So. Anytime you're lunging, you wanna make sure you have a good wide stance. So I'm gonna show it to you here. My palms are away, shoulders down and back. You're gonna lunge and you're gonna curl from your hip. Okay, here we go. Straight down and up. Now, you find the depth and the speed that works for you. So maybe you're coming down not that low. That's okay. You work that's comfortable for you. Every workout, guys, you're gonna build more strength. So today, working the entire body, working our strength, preparing our body to give birth, right? We're gonna be using our legs, our core muscles, when it's time to meet your little one. I'm keeping my shoulder blades back. Again, working these muscles because we're gonna be carrying our little one in front of us. So we wanna make sure that we are building our back. From here, we're gonna get down onto the mat, elbow under your shoulder. You can either do a regular or a modified side plank pulse. So you're gonna come up and down, nice and controlled. If this is still too much, you can bend both legs, totally up to you. So you're not letting it drop. So nice and slow and controlled, taking your time. 
Again, working the shoulder girdles, working your obliques, working your glutes a little bit. And then we're gonna come back up and switch our stance and repeat that exercise, but on the opposite leg. So when you're getting up off the floor, don't rush. You can grab your weights from where you are, take your time, because your body has to adjust. We're gonna switch our stance, nice wide stance. Now you can either stay at that position that we were in or increase the angle. You're gonna come down, and now you have a little bit more of an Arnold curl. Again, working our arms, our shoulder blades, a little bit of balance, as well as our legs. Now remember your, your core is not just your abs, right? It's your abs, your hips, your glutes, your low back. So when you come up from your lunge, gently just squeeze your glutes. We are almost done, hang in there. Our active breath, we're gonna do our side plank on the opposite side. Great job, guys, we're almost done. Catch your breath. We're gonna set it down. We're gonna go on the opposite side. Elbow underwater, <laughs> underwater. Elbow under shoulder. You can modify it. Come up and down. Nice and controlled. After this one, we are gonna take a really quick break and grab some water. And we're gonna continue on. Keeping your shoulder blades down and back, working your shoulder girdle, working your obliques, working the glutes, not holding your breath. Great job, you guys, you're almost done. And relax, take your time from where you are. Let's get a drink of water, why not? We're working hard. Our next one, I'm gonna show it to you first. There is some more movement. I'm gonna turn so that you can see my position. So you're going to step back, you're gonna come forward, and you have a rear delt. Now, this position, you may be able to go a little bit further than me, but you want your back flat going against gravity. So we're gonna alternate and step back here, okay? And here we go. So we're gonna step back, rear delt, come forward. And we're alternating back and forth, stepping back, nice and controlled. So again, when we have our little one, we're gonna be nursing or feeding them, carrying them. So we wanna make sure that we're still working the opposite muscles, right? Our back, our rear delt, helps with our posture to avoid strain. Just a few more guys. And then we have our active rest and relax. From here, we're gonna stay standing. We have our side oblique pulls. You're reaching, side crunching, nice and smooth and control, working the side here, our waist, our core, a little bit of balance. Really pull that arm down just to give you more resistance. Good job, guys. All right, we're gonna switch sides and bring it down. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. We are almost done. From here, we're gonna work our legs as well as the back of our arm. So from here, I'm gonna show it to you first. We're gonna be in what is called first position. So our heels are connected, our toes are pointed away. We're gonna have the weight up, watch me first. I'm gonna show you in two different positions. As I'm squatting down, I'm letting the weight go down. As I stand, I'm extending back up and I'm squeezing my upper inner thigh and my glutes. I'm gonna turn so you can see a different angle, nice and controlled, coming down and up. I'm not letting my elbows go away from me. All right, y'all ready? And here we go. Nice and smooth, squeeze, 
that upper inner thigh. Also working the back of our arms, our tricep, because no mama wants to have flabby arms, right? Especially that hard to reach area. It's a concern for all of us, so let's address it. Anything mentionable is manageable. So we're in this together. We're almost done. So if you feel like, okay, Vanessa, I got it. And you wanna go faster, definitely go faster. This is totally a workout, but make sure that you do not compromise your form at any time. Just a few more guys. We're almost done and we're gonna use the ball next <clears throat> or the mat. You've got some options. All right, catch your breath. From here, the next one we're gonna do for our active rest are bridges. So I'm gonna show it to you first. Now, being in that second trimester, you may not be comfortable laying flat and really you shouldn't. You should be at least 20 to 30 degrees up on an angle. So for the purpose of this, the ball is a little bit more comfortable for me. I'm gonna walk it out here so my hips are off the ball and you can do this on the mat if you are comfortable. Feet parallel and we're gonna bridge up, squeezing our glutes. Here we go. So nice and controlled. Now I will say this, if you're not comfortable with the ball, if you haven't used it, definitely make sure you do it on the floor first or try the ball separately on its own because it is an unsteady surface compared to the floor. So work at your level, listen to your gut, pun intended, and know your body. And we're definitely here if you have questions, we're here for some feedback and your concerns. We're almost done. Great job, guys. Squeezing your glutes at the top, slowly lowering. Again, working your glutes gives your hips more Stability. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna set that ball to the side. Now we are gonna grab, we're not gonna use weights. We're gonna use our hands. Watch me first. Your hands can be behind your head, like so, but if that's not comfortable, you can just take your hands, make a little fist right by your face. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna squat, come up just gently so it's a center squat. As I step to the sides, I'm also squeezing my back. So I'm staying low. So I step, squeeze, step, squeeze. Nice and controlled. Finding that position that works for you. And mama, you should feel those thighs talking to you. But here's the thing. Remember, when it's time to give birth, you're gonna be using those legs. You're gonna be using the core. And you're gonna thank yourself that you are working to build strength, keep yourself healthy, keep your baby healthy. Just spending a few minutes each day for the both of you, right? Just a few more, nice and controlled, and relax. Okay, from here we're gonna march and pull. March and pull. So you're just adding a little bit of resistance. If the pull is too much, you can just march here. Totally up to you. There is a little bit of coordination, but that's okay, right? It's good for the brain. It's good for your balance. Make sure you're breathing. You should hear yourself breathe, but it should be controlled breaths. So if you're huffing and puffing, and you're like, oh man, I can't really talk. That's your cue, mama, to sit down and take a break. We got one more exercise. Here we go, you're gonna grab your weight. We have side lunge, hammer curl. Side lunge, hammer curl. So I am letting my hips go back as I curl. You should not, I'm gonna turn so you can see, you should not feel this in your knee, okay? So I'm, I'm controlling the shift as I do this. So I'm framing the knee, pushing off and curl. Framing the knee, pushing off and curl. Keeping my chest up, not allowing myself to pitch forward. So find the range that works for you. We're almost done with our first round. Good job. Set it down to the side. 
And we just got butt kickers right here. You guys are doing awesome. We're working different muscle groups, our shoulders, our biceps, our triceps, our core, our balance, and all the muscles in our legs. Here's the beauty of it. We just went through it once. Now that you know the exercises, and you have a better idea of what we're doing, we got one more round. Too easy. Keep your chest up. You control the speed. You control the momentum. And you are doing awesome. Almost there. Just a few more seconds. And we're going to catch our breath. Great job fulfilling and finishing your round one. Definitely grab some water. We have about a 45 second break. Catch your breath. We definitely want to stay hydrated. And again, we're going to use the weight. If you have a ball, grab that ball. You guys are doing awesome. We're going to start again with the uh, regular squat, holding the weight in that isometric position. Front raise into side raise. So I'm so glad that you're doing our full body fierce workout, you pregnant mamas. You guys are doing amazing. So go ahead and take that last sip of water if you need to. We're gonna be starting in just a few seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my weight, feet parallel, shoulders down and back. You're gonna have that ISO curl. We're gonna squat, here we go. Front raise, side raise, great job. Each exercise we're doing is for 45 seconds. Even the active breaths, you guys are doing awesome. Getting in a full body workout in just in 30 minutes. Best 30 minutes of your day. Making sure that when you squat, your hips and your glutes are going back, keeping your chest up, keeping your abs engaged, even when you're doing the front raise into the side raise. Not using momentum. Don't let your back sway forward and back. Good job. And we're going to set it down to the side. Active rest right here. We got a nice light jog. So imagine your favorite or favorite place to jog. Is it the beach, the park? If that's too much, just tap it out right here. Or you can march it out. Or you can butt kick it out. Just got a few more seconds. Good job, guys. From here, we're gonna go into our sumo squat shoulder presses. Just getting those endorphins pumping a little bit more. We're gonna grab our weight. Toes pointed out. Here we go, down and up. Remember, sliding down that wall, not allowing our torso or our back to pitch forward, getting our outer thigh, our inner thigh, arms and shoulders, way to go. Our active rest after this one will be our jumping jacks. And I'll definitely show you the modifications. Remember, pick the position that works for you. Try different things, listen to your body, and most importantly, have fun. Think about the muscles that you're working, that you're engaging, and we're gonna set those weights down. We're gonna go right in to the jumping jacks. Uh-oh, roll away dumbbell. That's okay. I'll grab it in a second. Good job. Again, you can come here, or you can step it out. Keep going. After this one, we have our static lunges with the hip curl. Elbows on your hips, palms up. Our shoulders will be down and back, keeping good form, working our biceps, but a little bit of that external rotation of that shoulder girdle, a little bit of that rotator cuff. I'm keeping my knees soft right here. Never want a locked joint, ever, ever. Great job, catch your breath. We're gonna grab the weight, get into that split stance, shoulders down and back, elbows on your hip, here we go. Lunge and curl. Again, you find the speed, the depth that works for you. As you come up, squeezing your glutes, just to get a little bit more glute activation. 
after this one here, we're gonna get on the mat for side plank pulses. Remember, your legs can be straight and stacked on top of each other, or you can do the modified position with me. Straight down and up. We're gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna have my elbow under my shoulder, and here we go. Exhaling as I come up, inhale as I lower. Nothing like a little good sweat for your day, or glisten, I should say. Working our obliques, working a little bit of that glute medius, our shoulder, stability of that shoulder girdle, our posture, which is very important. We don't want rounded, solid shoulders, right? That's how we get pinching in the shoulder girdle or neck stiffness and discomfort. Couple more guys and catch your breath. Now, as we stand, take your time. Don't rush, allow your body to adjust to the new position. You can grab your weights while you're down here. And we're gonna go into our static lunge, opposite direction, opposite stance I should say. If you can, along your lever here, and instead of doing a hip curl, we have our Arnold curl. Nice and controlled. As I lengthen my arms, I'm not going all the way. Again, you never want the joints locked. You want your muscles to absorb the force, not the joint themselves. Woo-wee, hope you guys are having fun. Feels good. Take care of your body. Every time you carve time for yourself, for your health, it's never wasted. It's good for you, your children, your, your spouse, and your family. Okay. All right, mama, we got the other side plank. We're gonna go on the opposite side. I'm not gonna kick my water this time. Elbow under shoulder, I'm gonna kick the ball though. And here we go, up and down. Good job. You guys are doing awesome. You may need to reposition the elbow. If you start to slide, that is totally fine. Side plank pulses. Very important to breathe. Never hold your breath. We don't want any unnecessary pressure in that abdominal area. We just wanna feel good, feel strong, nourish our bodies for us and our little one. From here, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna stand up. Go ahead and grab a sip of water. Now we have our alternating step backs into a rear delt. So remember, keeping the back flat and lifting the arms. So here we go. We're gonna step back, lower, and lift. Step back, lower, and lift. Nice job. Now again, you may find yourself able to bend forward a little bit more than me. That's totally fine. You just wanna make sure that you're doing what you need to do for your body. Moving with intention, no haphazard motions, right? We wanna make each one count, quality over quantity. Just a couple more. Last one, let's make it even and relax. Great, great job. From here, we have side oblique pulls, working the obliques, just in a different position, working our balance. Note that the leg that I'm standing on is soft. I don't have it locked. After this one, we're gonna do the other side. And then we have our first position, overhead extensions. Say that five times fast. Whew, it's a mouthful. Keep going. We're almost done. Nice job, switch it up, bring it down. Really pull with that arm, gentle side bend. Great job. 
using your own body and catch your breath. You're gonna grab one weight for this one. My heels are connected, toes pointed out, elbows or, fore or upper arm by my side, straight up, we're gonna lower and lift. Squeeze that upper inner thigh, squeeze your glutes. Pretend like there's a zipper, zipping from your knee up the thigh, groin, abdominals, all the way up to the top of that weight. Nice and slow and controlled. Working the outer thigh, inner thigh, changing the angle to get different muscle fibers. Also working the top or upper arm, the tricep muscle, right? That muscle behind your arm. Good job, guys. We're gonna use the ball or the mat next for our bridges. We're gonna set this weight down. Take your time, catch your breath. So we are moving in different positions. So don't feel like you have to keep up with me by any means. Okay, remember I'm gonna use the ball. For this one, you can definitely use the mat. Use what is comfortable and safe for you. We're gonna bring it down so that the ball is in between my shoulder blades. I'm gonna lower my hips and squeeze up. Here we go. Squeezing my glutes at the top. As if your butt wants to eat your pants. There's a visual for you. Not a max contraction, just enough to turn those glutes on. It takes a conscious effort, right? <clears throat> Our glutes won't just turn on. We have to tell them what to do. And it's great because it gives our hips more stability. Especially during this trimester, we have that relaxing hormone that's really being released. It makes the joints more loosey-goosey. Your body's gonna feel different. So we wanna strengthen the muscles safely, therapeutically, so you have the strength that you need. And we're slowly going to catch our breath. All right, guys. From here, we're gonna grab no weight, but just make sure they're not in your way. So you always wanna make sure that the area is cleared. So hands behind your head or on the side of your face. Here we go. So we're gonna to step to the side and squeeze our back muscles. Loading our legs, staying in that mini squat position. Woo! The entire time. Squeezing that upper, upper, not upper, upper mid back, strengthening in between our shoulder blades, our rear delts. We wanna have good posture. We're gonna be holding that baby, giving it the security and love that it so desires and needs, right? Almost done. And catch your breath. Good job, guys. From here, we have our march pose. So you can either march in place or we can add a little bit of resistance, coordination, bringing those arms down, getting your arms to engage, your core. Guess what? We just got one more exercise and one more active breath. You are doing awesome. Thanks so much for hanging with me. Thanks so much for sharing these workouts, subscribing to your YouTube channel at hey Fit Mom. We love that we can be in this with you and enjoy the journey together. Keep going. Just a few more seconds. Then we have our side lunges alternating into hammer curls. Grab your weight and here we go. Side lunge. Push off and curl. Side lunge, curl. So you're alternating side to side. If you feel like you need to go slower, go slower. If you feel like, okay, Vanessa, I got it. Go faster, but don't compromise your form. Hitting my chest up, pushing off with that foot, framing my knee. I'm not letting the weight Pull me forward. Good job, guys. Keep going, keep going. We're almost done. Just a couple more, and then we're gonna go into our butt kickers. Great job. Catch your breath. We're gonna set those weights down. 
and we're going to kick our butt. So again, you can be right here with me or you can pick up the tempo, whatever works for you. Last exercise and we're going to cool it down. Good job, guys. Just a few more seconds. You're doing awesome. Keep that chest up, airway open, not holding your breath. Way to go with that full body workout. You are a fierce mama, a force to be reckoned with. Great job, you're almost done. Keep going, keep going. All the way. Just a couple more seconds and relax. Great, great job. Get a nice wide stance. We're gonna start our cool down. So my feet are past my shoulders. Reach that arm up, just a side bend here. Same thing we did at the beginning, but now you should feel more warmed up, right? Muscles should feel warm. It should feel worked. One more, guys. Congratulate yourself for spending some time on your health. Please make sure you stay hydrated throughout the rest of your day. Listen to your body. If you feel like this video was beneficial, definitely share it forward. Subscribe so that you can get all of our other awesome workouts coming along, coming down the pipeline. From here, we're just gonna slowly side lunge to the left, get an inner thigh groin stretch, and we're just gonna go back and forth, nice and smooth. Remember, never forcing, never bouncing, just opening that up a little bit. My hips and glutes are going back as I do this, nice and gentle. One more each side. Good job. From here, back is flat. You're gonna hinge forward. Same thing we did in the beginning. My knees are soft, hamstring stretch. Relax the head, relax the neck and shoulders, round the back. Let the vertebrae stack on top of each other. One vertebrae at a time. Again, we're gonna pitch forward, back flat. Let everything go, head, neck, shoulders, relax. Look at that beautiful baby bump. Let the vertebrae stack on top of each other. One more, guys. Woo! Thank you for working out with me. I hope this was beneficial. Nice and slow and controlled. Roll it up, roll it up. And take a deep breath with me. Inhale. Exhale. Push those palms away again. Inhale, deep breath. And exhale. One more, ladies. Inhale. And exhale. I'm so glad you did this workout with us. You Fit Mamas are amazing and awesome. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Definitely check out our other workouts and follow us on our Instagram page at HateFitMom. We're here for you. Until next time.